Watson getting ready for the throw-in and the game is on. And Cork into an early attack. Ray Cummins, John Nolan. Confident clearance by John Nolan. Ball battled down there by John Crowley and added to very quickly there for Cork by Brendan Cummins, but it has gone out over the sideline for a line ball for Wexford about five yards from their own end line and Teddy O'Connor is going to take it. Shortage one and the referee penalizes Sean O'Leary for a push in the back there and this will be, I think it'll be a good deal longer. Teddy O'Connor again. Dale made there. This is Martin Quigley. It's not as Billy Rosen, in fact. And it's on. It was Martin Quigley. My mistake. It was Martin all the time. He sends it in, and now it comes to John Quigley. A shot that has gone wide. Martin Quigley. Martin Quigley getting that one. Getting it to his brother John, and the shot going wide. Just over a minute gone in the first half. No score. Martin Coleman with this habit of his of testing the spring of the stick before he takes the puck out. A good one. Nicely held by Mick Jacob. And Wexford in the attack now. Martin Quigley and John Crowley. John Quigley. Martin running on to it now. Nice pass up now to Christy Kyo. This is Brian Murphy for Cork. Under pressure, still under pressure, and this is Tony Jordan. Pass inside, Martin quickly getting ready, but there's a free, a free in, a free for Wexford from the 21-yard line, and this could be the first score of the game as Tony Jordan put uh, Martin quickly in there for a chance for a score. He was fouled, and Mick Butler comes out to take it. And here's his shot. It's over the bar, the first score of the game. Two and a half minutes gone, first half, and the scorer, Mick Butler, and that makes it Wexford one point, Cork, no score. Mick, incidentally, has scored 200, and, not 200, what am I talking about? Two goals and 16 points for the Wexford men in the championship until that one. That makes it two goals and 17. Put out, blocked down in the center by Billy Rolson. This is Dennis Corlin. Oh, a long one from way out the field, but it's gone wide. Well, the team's not settled down, of course, yet by any means. About three minutes gone in this uh, first half. John Nolan going back for the puck out. He tests the spring of the Hurley, too. John Crowley batting it down. Ned Buggy gets it, and Buggy takes a shot that's high, and it's gone over the bar. Another point for Wexford. The batting down of the ball by the Cork half-back line intended for the centre field, went instead to Ned Buggy. Ned made no mistake, and after four minutes of play, Wexford lead by two points to no score. Martin Coleman. Ray Cummins and Willie Murphy. Willie getting the better of tussle number one, and the referee penalizes Cork for a tackle on a man who didn't have the ball and there's a free out to be taken by Jimmy Prendergast. Jimmy who was one of the doubtful members of the Wexford team. Dropping 30 yards out. John Crowley trying to get it up. Martin Quigley likewise. Christy Kyo. Somebody had a shovel to do well in there. Pat Moylan for Cork. Brendan Cummins lets it go by, but Mick Jacob comes back for it. Nice clearance for Wexford. And the ball gone out over the line. Line ball for Cork, just outside their own 50-yard line, that dropping ball there. Nobody could reach it before it went out over the sideline. Martin Doherty to take the line ball. Oh, a very, very short one. Goes to Johnny Murphy for Wexford. 
Tony Jordan and Pat McDonald going for it. Pulled out by Pat Barry. The game hasn't really opened up yet, and now Big Butler with the ball. A nice scooping shot that's gone. They'll hit the upright. Tony Jordan trying to get it in. And it is a goal! A goal by Martin Quigley! A goal by Martin Quigley sent in, twist by Tony Jordan with his hand pass effort and pulled on by Martin Quigley, and here it is again. There's Tony Jordan with the ball, hand passing it into the center, and it's flicked in to the net by Martin Quigley, and the score is... Go is uh, Wexford, one goal and two points. Cork, no score. A long tuck out. Nick Jacob going away with the ball. Billy Rosen, and it's all Wexford at this stage. Billy Rosen still up the field with that ball. Being chased by Pat Moylan. Christy Kyo. Pat McDonald comes out to Martin Quigley to Tony Jordan. It's only his shot, and Martin Coleman saves it. Martin Quigley comes back in again, and this is another goal. Another goal for Wexford. And Wexford blitz as Martin Quigley getting that ball as it came out to him, pressed it into the net, and without reply, it's Wexford. Two goals and two points. Cork, no score. The ball in now towards the goal. Tony Jordan tries to get it. It comes back out to Martin Quigley. He gets it into Tony Jordan. Tony Jordan shot saved by Martin Coleman and out it goes again to Martin Quigley and into the net. And uh, Cork, while we were looking at that, came round and had a wide puck out by John Nolan. Ball breaking down, Gerald McCarthy gone back for it. Gerald fouled in possession and a free to Cork. Dennis Collins to take it. And Cork will really have to kick into gear now with this Wexford blitz that's really hit them in the first seven minutes. Dennis Collins tough. The referee penalizes a Wexford man for going too near the taker of the free when it was being taken. And there is another free to Cork. Dennis Collins coming up to take it. Uh, it was Johnny Murphy who was too near the ball. And uh, exactly where this free is going to be. Well, it's in a much better position. In fact, it's getting better by the second. Uh, Pat Boylan is going to take this one just outside the 70-yard line. The wide stance. And it's over the bar. Cork's first score of the game after eight minutes of play. Pat Boylan from a free, making the score now. Wexford, two goals and two points. That's eight points. Cork, one point. And Pat Boylan, the scorer. Johnny Murphy breaks it to Mick Butler. John Quigley, Tony Jordan, Tony without his stick, but he's got the ball. Over to Mick Butler. Mick Butler bursting his way through and sending it over, but no, no, the referee has called back the play and he has blown his whistle. He's called back the play. He's standing on the 21 yard line and I think it's a free in that he had blown the whistle before the score was scored and he has called back the play and has awarded a free to Wexford from the 21 yard line. Mick Butler to take it. And he sends it over the bar and there's no mistake about it. Wexford leading, deserving to lead with the score two goals and three points. That is nine points to Cork's solitary one score, one point. Nine and a half minutes gone in the first half. seemed to know where it was. Ned Buggy did. Mick Jacob. Martin Doherty. Into Pat Boylan. Charlie McCarthy going up for it there. This is Ray Cummins now for Cork. And if one team can hand pass, so can the other. Nick Malone, who's gone across from 
this wing to that wing. Charlie McCarthy not getting there as quick as Mick Jacob. Jordan McCarthy getting there quickly. His puck knocked down by Jimmy Frendergast in a line ball for four. Just outside the Wexford 21-yard line, about 25 yards out, Jordan McCarthy to cut it. Good ball, huh? Jimmy Barry Murphy, in now to Mick Malone. Malone trying to get it through. He takes a shot and it's a point. A hand pass point by Mick Malone, making the score nine points to two in favor of Wexford. The fielded Mick going across from the right wing, as he has been doing. Here it is again. There's Jimmy Barry Murphy's pass into Malone. Malone trying to get his... He loses the stick and palms it over. John Nolan with a long puck out once again. Paddy Barry blocking it down. Gerald McCarthy in under it. And the ball gone off. A Wexford man and a line ball for court. Brian Murphy to take it. Brian footballer come harder. Brendan Cummins adding to it. Jimmy Barry Murphy trying to get to it. Ray Cummins across into the center to Charlie McCarthy all alone. And Charlie sends it over the bar. And I think he tried for a goal. Whatever he tried for, he got a point. A very nice pass by Ray Cummins. And I'm sure Charlie is saying to himself, it should have been a goal. And just look at what the easy shot he had. 21 yards out. Nobody near him. He did, I think, shoot for the top of the net. It went too high. And the score is 2-3 to three points in favor of Wexford. And what a puck out by John Nolan. 30 yards out. John Quigley, Johnny Murphy, and it's wide. Cork have settled down a good deal better in the last four or five minutes. The match is 12 minutes old. They've settled down a good deal better in the last four or five minutes. And uh, after being absolutely out of the game in the very early stages, when Wexford really settled down, as they did against Galway in the replay in Porgy Keep. Well, Cork have come back into the game, but they're still trailing and deserve to be trailing at this stage. Pat Barry being robbed there by John Quigley. Barry back for the ball. Brendan Cummins and Ray Cummins. This is Ray. Willie Murphy out after him, and Ray's got inside him now. And Ray is brought down, and there is a penalty. A penalty for Cork. Dead straight in front of the goal, of course. And it will be taken. Here it is. There is Ray Cummins going through. And, uh, well, it's photo, photo finish there about the penalty, but the penalty it is. Pat Boylan to take it. And if he gets a goal here, how this game will spring to life. That wide stance. He doesn't try for a goal, he's satisfied for a point to show that there's no panic in the Cork quarters, although they are trailing at this stage with the score, nine points to four, or two goals and three points for Wexford and four points for Cork. Pat Boylan, the scorer, and here's John Nolan with the puck out. Wexford can get into one another's way there. Ned Buggy, and the line ball is John Crowley, or uh, Blind Murphy kicked that one out, and uh, there, he kicked it up, but it went off the Wexford man, and there's a line ball for Cork. Everybody to take it. Played it full back in the Munster final, playing out of the half line here. Brendan Cummins deflecting it out. Jimmy Prendergast and Charlie McCarthy. Brendan Cummins taking advantage, and Charlie McCarthy has gone down with an injury. Ball right across the goal of Jimmy Barry Murphy, and a lovely interception there by Willie Murphy. Charlie McCarthy, meanwhile, is down injured, way up here on the right. Ray Cummins trying to come through with the ball. Willie Murphy after him. The referee penalizes the Wexford man for a foul there, and there's a free for Cork on the 21-yard line. And Charlie McCarthy going in to take his position now. He did get a knock on the side of the face there. In fact, I think he's going over to take the free. Showing that, uh, well, he couldn't have been all that bad. Cork very much back in the game after Wexford 
went into a whirlwind start there. Some blood on Charlie's nose. He takes this one and he sends it over the bar. Another point for Cork, scored by Charlie McCarthy after 15 minutes of play. The score is Wexford, two goals and three points. Cork, five points. And that's Charlie's second point of the game. John Knowles. Dennis Corlin getting it down to Pat Moylan. Cork have scored the last five scores of this game. And here's Pat Moylan being chased by Johnny Murphy. Jimmy Barry Murphy, Brendan Ray, the whole lot of them in there. Colum Jordan, now Mick Jacob. Mick Jacob getting a nice clearance in. Dennis Corlin. And it's brought down and deflected right across the goal mouth, but there's nobody there but a Wexford man, and the Wexford man is John Nolan, not as confident as usual. Ed Boogie can't get it. Gerald McCarthy does. A dropping ball. It's hit the upright. Come back at the play. And Charlie McCarthy, amazed at the ball coming out to him there, mishit it. And the ball out pretty near the sideline. This is Shawnee Derry. Bandage knee and all. That's Colin Gordon. And it's Colin judging the hook of the ball perfectly there. John Nolan, the referee going up, the linesman has put his, uh, or they, not the linesman, but the umpire has put his hands up and has given a signal and indeed has also given a message to the referee and there is a 21 yards free because the goalkeeper lay on the ball, I would say. And here it is, there it is. The goalkeeper, in fact, sitting on the ball, and isn't he a plucky boy? Pat Moylan to take the three, and it was a foul on the ball. It is not a penalty. It's an ordinary free in hurling. Here's the free anyway, taken by Pat Moylan, and it's sent over the bar. A foul on the ball inside the small square is not a penalty in hurling. That is the third point for Pat Moylan as Wexford lead two goals and three points to Cork six points. And the rather dreary opening to this game has really disappeared and has been replaced by what we all thought it would be. Gerald McCarthy. Ray Cummings. And another point for Cork as Cork have really settled down now, taking it only two points between them. Wexford nine. Ray Cummins there at the score of Cork's seventh point. And the last score was uh, for Wexford was two to one point way back after nine and a half minutes of play. And we're now in the 18th minute of play. So Wexford had better get into gear as we said about Cork earlier on. Three to Cork. Inside the lone 70. Pat Moylan, with all the care of an Eddie Care. And it is gone over the bar for a point by Pat Moylan, a lovely free from way out the field, his fourth of the game, and now there's only one point between them. Wexford, 2-3, Cork, eight points. John Nolan who hasn't let a goal in there. Those Pat cork Moylan. scores are all points. Ned Buggy getting the ball upfield, but it's out over the line for a line ball for Cork. John Quigley, top of the left. Christy Kyo, left half forward on the Wexford team. This is Brian Murphy. Brendan Cummins, Billy Rosen, Paddy Barry, John Crowley, Martin quickly nipping in now, and Martin being chased by Gerald McCarthy, and he's still on his way. And a nice point there, but oh, hold it, hold it, hold it. The referee had blown his whistle. The referee had blown his whistle, and there is a free out for Cork for carrying the ball too 
far. And this free will be taken by Pat McDonald just outside the Cork 21 yard line. About 25 yards out, I would say. Dean Bennett under it. Jimmy Barry Murphy gets the ball in a bit nearer. Willie Murphy, hand up at the right time. Paddy Barry, Gerald McCarthy. Dean Bennett coming across. In there too, Billy Rose. Colum Gordon coming down now to be chased by Charlie McCarthy. Pat McDonald putting his hands up and grabbing that ball. Johnny Leary. Plenty of height, had a great deal of distance. And Willie Murphy judging it well. Christy Kyo now. Pretty near the sideline, over the line, line ball for Cook. Correction, line ball for Wexford. Went off Pat Barry. Ed Buggy. And Tony Jordan's got it into his hand, but he's grounded by Dennis Paulin, and Tony is down stretched at the moment, as you can see. Seem to get a knock on the back of the neck. Or was it? Here it is anyway. Here it is again. Tony Dorden with the ball. And along the back of the neck there, as you can see. And here is the free. It's taken by Mick Butler, and it's sent over the bar, putting Wexford further ahead. Mick Butler's third point of the game. The score now, Wexford two goals and four points. Cork, eight points. So if you prefer... The total in points, 10 points to 8. 22 minutes gone, first half. Jimmy Barry Murphy trying to get the ball away from Billy Rosen. And the Bennett in there too. Talk about stalemate, that's Ned Buggy, hooped. Gerald McCarthy. Ooh, how did he get that one up? Pat Morden. And a lovely shot from out the feet. Oh, a beautiful point there by Pat Boylan from way out on the far side of the feet, right out on the sideline. And now there's only one point between them again. Two goals and four points to nine points. Wexford leading by one point after over 23 minutes of play in the first half. John Crowley, Jimmy Barry Murphy, Brendan Cummins, but beaten by an incoming Mick Jacob. Line ball for Cook. Just outside the Wexford 50-yard line. And Pat Moylan gone across to take. Oh, a delightful ball. Shawnee Leary getting it across in front of the goal. It's gone off. Somebody's stick and gone wide. Johnny Leary is arguing that it is a 70. And the umpires don't want to know. On the puck out, Gerald McCarthy. Eddie O'Connor. Into Ned Buggy. What a wonderful delivery he has. Pat McDonald and Tony Gordon. Pat McDonald gone back with Mick Butler and the ball gone over the line. Off the corkman and it's a 70. John Murphy has gone centre field for Wexford. And Billy Rosum has gone right half forward. That's a switch in the Wexford team. And this is Ned Buggy, who is quite an expert of these 70s, to take this one. Not a puff of wind to disturb him. And straight over the bar, a lovely point there by Ned Buggy. 
making the score now. Wexford leading by two goals and five points to Cork's nine points. Jimmy Barry Murphy, right half forward. Mick Malone, left half forward. In fact, uh, Jimmy Barry Murphy, yes, Jimmy Barry Murphy, right half forward, and Mick Malone, left half forward on the Cork team, and that's another switch. And mention of Jimmy Barry Murphy, there he is. Ned Puggy getting there first with that one. Dennis Collin, but the ball gone off his stick, line ball for Wexford. Liam Bennett, who was a doubtful starter before the game, to take this line ball for Wexford just inside their 50-yard line. Asking that the ball be taken out of a little hole, and it must be a little one. Certainly it was worth the journey. Nice bit of ball-like fielding, fielding by Dennis Collin. Brendan Commons. Ray, but Ray beaten by Jimmy Prendergast. Wholehearted Jimmy. And the hand is up again, and it's Tony Dorn to John Quigley. But intercepting there, Brian Murphy, and the ball eventually cleared out by John Crowley. Wexford back pressing now. After dominating the first four or five minutes of the game, they've been trading the Cork men, not on the scoreboard, but in the play. And in the last few minutes now, have been coming back to dominance again. Nice line ball by Ned Buggy. Mick Butler. And you don't shoulder Mick Butler too easily. Pat Moylan. Mick Malone and Liam Bennett together. The ball gone on past them. And this is Brendan Cummins. Ray and Willie Murphy. Charlie McCarthy and Jim Prendergast and Willie Murphy coming in. What a great player this is. Nice bit of stick work there by Gerald McCarthy. But the referee eventually penalizes them and awards a free to Wexford just about 60 yards out from the Cork goal and about two yards in from the near sideline. Now it is about 55 yards out from the court goal and about five yards in from the near sideline. Ned Buggy. That's a good ball. That's a good ball. And Patrick Coleman let it fall, but he got it out very quickly. I think the proximity of another defender may have caught his eye there, but he did get it out. Line ball now. Johnny Murphy to take it for Wexford. Passing it back to the wandering Christy Kyo. Christy's shot is wide, and the score remains Wexford 2-5. That is 11 points, Cork 9 points. 28 minutes gone in the first half. Christy coming back now to his own left wing. Martin Cole. about 35 yards out from it and Ned Buggy to take it. And writers of scores are ready already and they're right. It's over the bar. Another point. Ned Buggy's third of the game. That makes it Wexford two goals and six points to Cork's nine points. Ned who has played in the half back line playing at centre field today. Half an hour gone in this first half. Oh, a very long tuck out. And Jimmy Barry Murphy grabbed it. Knocked away off his stick by Colin Gordon. Out to Pat Boyle. Ray Cummins. Getting inside this time. A kick and a goal! Ray Cummins, footballer, come hurler. And he's proved it. Breaking through. Here it is now. Getting the ball up. Getting inside Willie Murphy. Losing his stick in transit, not a hesitant, 
not a moment's hesitancy there crashing it into the net and the play back now at the other end of the field as Wexford attack the score the sides level 12 points each but the Wexford attack broken up now by Mick Malone coming up the field the ball hit off his stick in comes Big Jake the pun Big Jacob doing what the cork man did out to John Quickly, who's moved out into the half line again Tony Gordon coming out for it, but uh, doesn't get to it. Brian Murphy, out to John Crowley. Jimmy Barry Murphy. Adam Gordon getting there ahead of him. Pat Boyle. Kenny O'Connor having more pace than Johnny O'Leary today. Johnny Murphy from 70 yards out. John Crowley, Martin Quigley after him, Mick Malone, I don't know whether he contacted with that one or not, but the intention was good, gone back is Teddy O'Connor, his puck is blocked down by Shawnee Leary, Shawnee shot is high, and Cork have gone into the lead for the first time in the game, after 31 minutes of play, Shawnee Leary, Coming across on the far side with the ball on his stick, getting a good position and putting Cork ahead 110 to 26 after 32 minutes of play. And back come Wexford now, but their attack broken up. Gerald McCarthy, Mick Malone, Ray Cummins coming down with Willie Murphy after them. This is Charlie McCarthy now, and Charlie's shot is gone over for another point for Cork. Charlie McCarthy coming out from his corner to about 30 yards out and sending it over to put Cork two points ahead with uh, about two and a half minutes left in this first half. 2-6 is the Wexford's goal, but Cork are leading with 1-11. 1-11 to 2-6. And Christy Joe. Back to Martin Quickly. John Crowley. Martin Quickly still after him, but Martin is fouled and there's a free to Wexford. Just inside the Cork 70 yard line, and the free will be taken by Ned Buggy. too near the ball but it certainly didn't look it from up here it may have from down on the ground but not from up here and you can hear the crowd's reaction to it Ned Buggy to take the free again and Ned Buggy makes no mistake this time sends it straight over the bar and so as we approach the half time with about two minutes less than two minutes left in the game there is only one point between them. Ned Buggy, the score of four for Wexford, the score Cork 111, Wexford 2 7. Brendan Cummins trying to get it up, but Nick Jacob getting it to Ned Buggy. Ned Buggy with a lovely ball way upfield. Up goes Tony Dorton. Pat McDonald, Tony Dorton again. Pat McDonald again. Martin Quigley, Tony Gordon. Eeny meeny, miny mo. And the last ball was Dennis Collin, and it's a line ball for Wexford. Wexford pressing now in the last minute of the first half. They trail by one point at this stage after dominating the very early stages of the game. Ned Buggy. He's got it again. I don't know how he does it, but it is Tony Gordon <laughs> trying to pay volleyball or something with it there on the ground, but not succeeding. This is Big Jacob. Ned Buggy. That ball did a skid when it hit the ground there. Racing out for it now is Tony Dolan. 
and he's gone through. But the ball knocked off his stick by Pat McDonald. Now John Quigley trying to get through. Pat Barry stands in his way. But Pat takes oh yeah, John takes the shot, and the sides are level, and they'd be going in for half time in any moment. The score now, Cork, one goal and 11 points. Wexford, two goals and eight. 14 points each, and I make it 35 minutes gone in the first half. Referee looking at each watch, and there is the halftime whistle. And so, after an entertaining, if not brilliant, first half, the sides are level. Sabal er dukhij arakish kar in you. Insure my car is dying. To the shilling economy, quartz at its touring, and in the start scene to her agar. I will build the greatest wall you've ever seen. It will be a beautiful wall. Eight years that I can uh, have him hug my brothers. This is a real human being walking across the desert. Everything that he does, he's making sure that Americans are first. Push the rock mill, Ashling, Akab, and Tiv Shokanwala. A mask national nation is out. Oregna and Tushkar Isha. Umbala, Zakidin, or Tiji Kahaj. It's so important to make someone happy. Make just one. Every year, happy. our players support thousands of good causes in communities all over Ireland. The National Lottery. Saving on home energy is even more important these days. And a great way to do it? Go to BoardGoshEnergy.ie, the only place where you can get our best ever dual fuel home energy offer. Save on your gas and electricity today when you switch online at BoardGoshEnergy.ie. Gem Pack Foods have been at the heart of Irish baking since 1967. Our lives have changed greatly since then, but one constant has remained steadfast. Home baking, as central to the home today as it was then. Gem Pack Foods serving generations of home bakers for over 50 years with everything you need for perfect home baking. Serving you and your family through all of life's twists and turns. Gem makes baking a piece of cake. I think the monster is back, Grandad. Oh dear, the one I fell. No, the ginormous green slimy one. Where is he? I think he's under my bed. No, not the under here. We must have frightened them all. The way we're connecting is changing. That's why at 3, we've removed usage limits from all-you-can-eat data. For all customers, forever. 3. Make it count. Oh, man. Tired of looking tired? Hydra Energetic Anti-Fatigue Moisturizer by L'Oreal and Expert. Show your skin some love with vitamin CG. It fights signs of fatigue. And leaves skin looking and feeling fresh. Et voila. Hydra Energetic Anti-Fatigue Moisturizer by L'Oreal and Expert. Get that energy back. You're worth it. We've all been cleaning our hands, keeping two meters apart, and coughs and sneezes to stop the spread of COVID-19. We can also do this by wearing a face covering. Face coverings help reduce the spread of the virus, especially from people who don't know they have it. Avoid touching the front of your mask and wear one anywhere it's difficult to stay two meters apart, like shops or public transport, or anytime you're with someone who's more at risk. Store your mask in a plastic bag and wash it after use. Wear a face covering. Stay safe. Protect each other. At AIB, we offer mortgage approval in principle that lasts 12 months, giving you more time to find the right home for you. So when the time is right, start your journey with Ireland's first online mortgage. Apply online, upload your documents, and see where you are in your application at any point. Because sometimes you need to start seeing it happen believe that it can. Apply online at AIB.ie.
Mon Havano Kian Kian Tira Zafani Nikasan. They're level at 14 points each. Eamon O'Donoghue, top of the left. For Cork and Skedit Shawnee, clearly the game is on, and we're 35 minutes away from glory for somebody. Mick Malone. And Brendan Cummins takes a shot, but oh, wide. Well, it was looked a scorable chance from up here, but a lot of things look a lot of things from up here. John Nolan with the puck out. Wexford playing from left to right. John chased by Pat Boyle. Be nicely up now. John quickly tries to get through Martin Doherty, which isn't exactly an easy way to go. And Tony Jordan has it, and it's a goal! Here it is again. He has it in his hand. And the shot that slow Martin Coleman dies for it can't get to it and it's wide. Right, not wide, but right into the net, I should say. 17 to 14. Wexford leading 3 8 to 111. All done out, far side of the field. Line ball for Wexford to be taken by Colum Dorden. Column Jordan to take it. Column, who's a brother of Tony's, of course. Substitution on the call, please. Nick McGee gambling with that one across. The gamble didn't come off, and it's Mick Malone now. And Mick Malone fouled, and the referee calls back to play and awards a free to Cook. Pat Boylan to take it. Boylan standing over the ball now. And he sends it over for a point for Cork and narrowing the gap again. And it is Wexford three goals and eight points. Cork one goal and 12, 17 to 15 in favor of the Wexford men after two and a half minutes of the second half. John Crowley, General McCarthy. Brendan Cummins. Charlie McCarthy, a goal! A goal by Charlie McCarthy! Charlie coming across from the far side of the field. A typical Charlie McCarthy goal. Running across from the right. Just watch it again now. As it comes in from Brendan Cummins. Across from there on the right. Judges the hop. Lets it hop again. And crashes it into the net. And John Nolan hasn't a chance. Back live again and plays in the center of the field. The score is Cork 18 points, Wexford 17, 212 to 38 in favor of Cork. And uh, there is a free on the far side of the field for Cork. 70 yards out from their own goal. Pat Boylan going across to take it. Almost four minutes gone in the second half. Only a point between them. They're waiting for the ball to be retrieved. Into the goal mouth. John Nolan under pressure. Getting it out. Brendan Cummins. Charlie McCarthy under it with Jim Prendergast. Prendergast up into the center of the field. Pat Morgan going back to recover. And it's a line ball for Wexford. Just outside of their own 50 yard line. Ned Buggy, taker in chief of line ball and the like.
Tony Gordon racing onto the ball now. Martin quickly. And it's Martin who eventually gets the ball out and sends it over the bar for a point. And the sides are level. It was Martin quickly who eventually got it out and sent it over the bar. 18 points each. Cork 2 12. Wexford 3 9. That's two goals at a point scored by Martin quickly. Five minutes gone to this second half. And the puck out by Martin Coleman all the way out over the line, nobody touching. just dribbled over. Line ball for Wexford, 55 yards out from their own goal. Jimmy Prendergast and John Horgan is coming into the Cork team. And this is not a surprise by any means. In fact, a lot of people thought it was a surprise he wasn't there all the time. Pat Barry has gone off and John Horgan has come on. John Crowley has gone right half back and John Horgan center half back. That's Gerald McCarthy and Martin Quigley together there, but there is a free against Martin Quigley for the Cork men just inside their own 70. The sides level at 18 points each. Pat Moylan. Pat Moylan's free. Jimmy Barry Murphy got a bit of a knock there, but the referee blows his whistle and the walls are free to Cork, dead straight in front of the goal. Christy Kyo has gone off the Wexford team. We'll sort out the sub in just a moment. We'll follow the play here as Pat Moylan comes up with an effort to put the Cork men into a one-point lead. And he does, he sends it over the bar, a point, putting Cork one point ahead now after eight minutes of play in the second half. Cork, two goals and 13 points. Wexford, three goals and nine. That's the seventh point for Pat Moylan. And Decton Rosum, the other Rosum twin, is on the field. So, Declan and Winnie out there of the Rosums for the Wexford men as Cork lead by one point. This is Colum Jordan under pressure. This is Big Jake. Oh, a lovely dropping ball, but it's too high, too high. It looked like a dangerous one, but it was going to drop in the vicinity of the square. It didn't, and it went wide. 19 to 18 in favor of Cork. bit of fielding there by Mick Jacob on, and the referee penalizes John quickly for a foul pull there and the referee just having a word with him and there is a free to Cork from 70 yards out from the Wexford goal as Dennis Collin is down injured and Martin Casey is coming on the Wexford team, or is it? 
It is. Martin Casey is coming on the Wexford team. And we'll sort out who's gone off in just a moment. Martin Casey is on. Dennis Collin is all right anyway, but here is Pat Boylan to take the free. It's high. It's hit the upright. That's two balls that hit the upright during the game. The ball comes back out to Jimmy Barry Murphy, and he sends it over the bar. Jimmy Barry Murphy, the scorer of that one, and that makes the score now Cork 2-14 and Wexford 3-9. And Billy Rosam is gone off the Wexford team. The other twin, Declan, is on. Almost 11 minutes gone in the second. 20 points for Cork, 18 for Wexford. Line ball. Red buggy to take it for Wexford. That's the 70 yard line. The Cork goal. And it must be! It is! It's a goal! It's a goal by Mick Butler. Mick Butler having a look back to see that all is well. It's a goal by Mick Butler, and here it is, coming to him. He gets it outside the parallelogram, let there be no doubt about it. He got that ball outside the parallelogram and has palmed it into the net, and now the score is... Wexford, 419. That's 21 points. Cork, 214. That's 20 points. 20 to 21. And here come Cork again. Eamon O'Donoghue. Teddy O'Connor after him. And the ball gone in and wide. One point between them. Wexford leading 21 to 20. 12 minutes, almost 13 gone in the second half. John Crowley backing the ball down again into the centre field. Ned Buggy. This is Martin Doherty. Three Wexford men around him. that got after him, or the one that got after him there and forced him out over the line, Martin Quigley, line ball for Wexford. Liam Bennett. Declan Rosen trying to get it up, John Horgan. Gerald McCarthy. Phil Gerald. Pat Moylan. And it's gone wide. And there are switches all round the place here. Brendan Cummins has gone top of the right. Charlie McCarthy, left half forward. Jimmy Barry Murphy is right half forward. Mick Malone, centre half forward for Cork. And this is John Crowley coming up field now, being chased by Declan Rosen, who is penalised for chopping, and there's a free to Cork. And with the fair-haired black rock band, John Horgan with the free. Pulled on by Jimmy Barry Murphy into Charlie McCarthy. Eamon O'Donoghue on the 21. It's high, but it's wide. It's wide. And Wexford still lead by this one point. Four nine to two fourteen. Fourteen minutes gone. And the puck out goes straight out. Playing a little bit of leapfrog over there. Puck out gone straight out over the line for a line ball for Cork. Declan Rosen has come over now at right half forward, and John Quigley gone top of the left for Wexford. Everybody's switching with the game poised so closely just on the old-fashioned razor's edge. Any move could be a winning one. Line ball for Cork, Jordan McCarthy. Mick Malone now. He sends it in, and he sends it wide. That's two chances Cork have had in the last couple of minutes to equalize. Wexford still leading by one point, 21 to 20. 4-9 to 214. John Nolan with the John Nolan with the puck out. Brian Murphy at full back now. Pat McDonald at right full back for Cork. John Hogan 
Dean goes to Ned Buggy. Ned shot is high, and Tony Gordon just doesn't get to it in time, and it's gone wide. He certainly tried valiantly to get up to that one. Well, Brian Murphy now has the job of watching one Anthony Dorn. As Pat McDonald has moved out to right fullback, and John Quigley is his opposite number. Another very long puck out. Nick Malone, Jim Prendergast, Willie Murphy. Up to Ned Buggy. John Quigley. Tony Jordan and the hand. No hurley, but the hand. And this is Mick Butler. Mick Butler losing the hurley too. John Hogan back there. Coleman getting the ball on the hop and under pressure clearing it out for a nine ball for Wexford and just see how near it was here that one very near the ground and the goalkeeper also near the ground there with that ball we're back live in action now and it's Wexford coming in with Tony Jordan with the ball his oh, puck knocked down by Jerry there. McCarthy. Brian Murphy. And Ned Buckey with only half a stick, but uh, penalized for pushing in the back there, and there's a free out for Cork. Wexford still leading one point, 21 to 20. Almost 17 of the 35 minutes gone in this second half. That's McDonald way down feet and pretty nicely feed there by Colum Gordon. Join the Tony isn't the only one that can get the ball into his hand and going through with the ball, but is Johnny Murphy, Mick Butler, and Dennis Paulin absolutely throwing himself at Mick Butler there. And Cork a little bit lucky that uh, they did concede a penalty in there, but they did concede a 70. 21 to 20, Wexford leading. Ned Buggy coming across to take the 70. Referee being asked by Ned Buggy, can I place it again? And he does. And it's gone wide. Could be a valuable one. In fact, anything missed at a game like this, 21 to 20, can be valuable, no matter which end of the field it's on. Martin Coleman. <laughs> Very long puck out again. 30 yards out from the Wexford goal. Mick Malone, Mick Jacob. Jimmy Barry Murphy, of course, now with Teddy O'Connor for Wexford. And the referee penalizing Teddy O'Connor for holding the ball too long, and there's a free in for Cork, and this can be the equalizer. Pat Moylan or Charlie McCarthy, it's Pat Moylan who's going to take it. You can see exactly the spot in which it is. Pat bidding for his eighth point of the game. And he makes no mistake, sends it over, and the sides are level again after almost 19 minutes of play in the second half. Cork 21 points, Wexford 21 points, 4-9, 215. Call it what you like, they're level. penalizing Cork for a holding foul there and there's a free for Wexford on the 21 yard line and right out you can see we will just see how far out it is eventually placed just outside the 21 yard line and it has come in an inch or two Ned Buggy to take it and Ned sends it over for the lead for Wexford again Ned Buggy the scorer Wexford 22 points Cork 21 and that is five for Ned Buggy, who's certainly having a sharp shooting game. Wexford 4-10, Cork 2-15.
Now Martin Quigley, full forward, Tony Jordan, centre half forward for Wexford. Nice bit of free kick there by Mick Jacob, who catches as many almost as Tony Jordan. Mick Jacob into a loose and waiting Ned Buggy. Thomas Corlin not getting down to that one. Johnny Murphy getting it. Martin Coleman. Not a very long clearance. Pat Boylan being tackled. Ball going on the loose to Declan Wilson. Declan Wild. Martin Casey, priest who's stationed in Ashford, heading out towards Lourdes with a group on Friday. No doubt saying appropriate preparatory prayers as he waits for this dropping ball to come out between himself and Pat Boyle. Wexford leading 22 to 21. Ned Buggy. John Quigley. John Quigley. Back to Johnny Murphy. Tony Jordan's waiting inside for it. It's got to him. He gets inside John Horgan and here he goes. He's going to pass it. He does. Out to the wing where Declan Rosen gets it. Declan's put blocked down by Martin Doherty. And Mick Butler now. A shot that's got over the bar. A point. A point by Mick Butler. And the lead, an increased lead for the Wexford men who now lead by 23 to 21. And that is a total of one goal and four points for Mick Butler. 4-11 for Wexford. 2-15 for Cork. 23 to 21. 22 minutes gone. The sun beaming down now shining right in the eyes of the Wexford defence. Gerald McCarthy. Mick Malone. Trying to get it into Jimmy Barry Murphy. That's Colin Gordon. But it goes out and it's a line ball for Cork. John Crowley's going to take it. More switches in the Cork team. Martin Doherty going out centre half forward and John Horgan going back left full forward. Or the full back, I should say. Martin Doherty centre half back, John Horgan left full back. And a very poorly taken line ball that comes into the waiting John Quigley. John Quigley right up with it and the ball hops dangerously. John Horgan hooshed off the ball there by Martin Quigley. This is Tony Dorn and the referee going up and awarding a free to Wexford from the 21-yard line. Free to Wexford, 21-yard line. Mick Butler to take it. Looking for 1-5 in his caddy. He's got one already. Or will he try for anything else? He does try for something else, does he? John Horgan. This is Pat Boyle now coming away, but no, he's beaten. John Quigley now for Wexford. John Crowley for Cork. Charlie McCarthy. Ray Cummins is inside him. Charlie takes a shot and he sends it wide. And the score remains Wexford 4 11. That is 23 points. Cork, 215, that's 21 points. 11 minutes left in the game. John Murphy. Shot the ball, it, it's hit the upright. That's the third ball in the game that hit the upright. Martin Coleman, the goalkeeper, being harassed by Martin Quigley, who while he blocks down Martin Coleman's shot, he sends it over the end line and there's a puck out for Cook. And the way Martin Coleman is pucking them, this one is going to wind up down about 25 yards out from the Wexford goal. Jimmy Barry Murphy full forward for Cork now. And Mick Malone right half forward, Ray Cummins out in the centre half forward position. 
bet the goalkeepers and bet the only man are where they start. That's an exaggeration, but you get the general drift of switches all round the place by both teams. Ten minutes left in the game, two points between them. Wexford leading by two. Ray Cummins can't quite hold to it. And this is Pat Boylan. Pat Boylan, but no, the referee has blown the whistle and called back the play. Referee has blown the whistle, has called back the play. The Cork man a bit disturbed that he didn't let the man in possession go on, but he did blow the whistle and has awarded a free to Cork, Pat Boylan to take it. And this should be all the same anyway, because he got a point a moment ago, and I'm sure he's going to get one now. He has straight over the bar, and now there's only the one point for him. Cork, 23 points. Our Wexford, 23 points. Cork, 22. Nine points for Ireland. And whatever happens today, the man with the nine in his back has certainly done his stuff. He's got nine points already for Cork. And here come Wexford in the attack again. Pat McDonald. Nick Malone and Colin Gordon. Ray Cummins right in to the waiting Mick Jacob. Tony Doran's gone back in full forward, I see. John Horgan out now towards Dennis Corlin. Dennis in towards his own goal. A bit of messing there that has come off of Cork. Martin Doherty is the man in possession. An intended pass to Gerald McCarthy is intercepted. Gerald chasing after it. Now Pat McDonald. There's a certain looseness has come into the play everywhere now. Nick Jacob way up the field for Wexford. And Tony Gordon, forager in chief. Brian Murphy is out there after him. Martin Doherty is out there. So also is Martin Quigley. The ball comes in from Johnny Murphy and has gone over the end line and wide. John Horgan hurrying things up, throwing the ball to Martin Coleman for the puck out. One point between them, 23 to 22. Wexford the leaders. Eight minutes still left in the game. Jimmy Barry Murphy has come out again to the half line. Ray Cummins has gone in full forward. Ned Buggy. John Horgan now. Being chased by Mick Butler. No hurry. Messing coming round all round the place there, but that quickly cleared up by Pat McDonald. Jimmy Barry Murphy breaking away now. He's coming to the 21 yard line. He takes his shot on the side there level. Jimmy Barry Murphy breaking away there from that ball. And you don't give Jimmy Barry a chance like that. He sent it over and the sides are level with seven minutes left in the game. 23 points each. And here it is again. There he goes. Ball on his stick, on the 21, takes his shot over the bar, no doubt, whatever. And the referee awards a free to Cork from just inside their own 50 and over on the far side of the field. Just over 28 minutes gone. John Crowley. Jimmy Barry Murphy again. And Jimmy Barry with the lead for Cork. Jimmy Barry snatching up two balls there very, very quickly and sending that one over to put Cork ahead by one point with, what, just over six and a half minutes left in the game. Cork 24, Wexford 23. That's 218 to 411. And here come Wexford back again. Dennis Collin trying to break up the attack. Martin Casey is in there. Johnny Murphy is in there. And he's the one in possession. Our Johnny McCarthy after him. The ball comes back to Lee Bennett. A lovely loving dropping ball. Martin Coleman. Down the far side of the field, now very near the sideline. Mick Jacob for Wexford. Wexford trading now by the one point. Comes out now to Declan Rosum. Declan shot, it's another one of these loving Doran directed ones. Comes down. Scooped out there dramatically by Martin. Martin Doherty. Mick Butler. Intercepted by John Horgan. 
and Mick Jacob, how he catches that ball, I do not know, but he does. And the thundering Dennis Collin, thundering up game with the ball. A dangerous hopping one, John Nolan. And Gerald McCarthy missing that one with the incoming Ned Buggy. Ray Cummins breaking through now. In front of the goal, a shot, and it's gone wide. Ray Cummins breaking through what looked like a sure score, but it went wide. And Cork lead 24 to 23, and we make it less than five minutes left in the game. Pat Moylan. And Ray Cummins again breaking through. A kick this time, and he scored this one. He sent that one over the bar from a kick. That's the second kick score of Ray Cummins today. Here he is breaking through, Willie Murphy after him. He takes his kick and over the bar with it, showing that, well, he still retains his football ability. Cork leading by two points, four minutes left in the game. Dennis Collin, the kick of the puck knocked down. Nick Butler, John Horgan is after him. And out comes John Horgan, showing that, well, he's really worth it out there. Out comes the ball to Ray Cummins. Ray Cummins to Jimmy Barry Murphy. Jimmy Barry Murphy, the screw shot, and it's gone over the bar for a point. Another one by Jimmy Barry Murphy. And with four minutes left in the game, Cork now lead by three points. 26 points to Wexford's 23. 26 to 23, the ball gone out over the line. A line ball for uh, Wexford, for Cork, I should say, just inside their own 50-yard line. And nobody, nobody wants to take it. Nobody wants to take it. And John Horgan is now called out to take it, and he's telling somebody to move back and cover off his man, and don't dilly-dally on the way, is what they say. Gerald McCarthy getting to the ball. Martin Casey. Gerald McCarthy again. This is Martin Doherty. The ball knocked off his stick there by the wholehearted Martin Quigley. Line ball for Cork. Dennis Collins to take it. Three minutes from the final whistle. Three points between them. Jimmy Barry Murphy breaking away now, being chased by Mick Jacob. And by Colum Gordon. Jimmy Barry takes his shot, and again the ball has hit the upright. That's four cracks at the upright. The referee penalising Ray Cummins for picking the ball off the ground, and a free out for Wexford. And there'll be no dilly-dally here, I can assure you. John Nolan with this one, way up the centre. Declan Rosen. Or no, it's uh, Martin Quigley. Back to Martin Casey, a high one out towards the left. And he's got it. Tony Jordan's got the ball. He's trying to work his way through. He's brought down. And the referee has blown his whistle and is calling for the ball. A free for West at the 21-yard line. It is not a penalty. It's a free. It was not inside the parallelogram. In fact, it's not a free. The referee is going to hop it. Referee is going to hop it. From the hop, the ball goes right through to Pat McDonald. That was a relief for Cork indeed. Out comes Ray Cummins now at the ball. Being chased by Mick Jacob. Eamon O'Donoghue. John Nolan. And he's robbed. Eamon O'Donoghue. And again the ball has hit the upright. But it's not out of the woods yet for Wexford. Stalemate down there. And the referee running down from the center of the field. And I think he, if he hopped one up there, I'd say he'd hop another down here. He's trying to hop this one, going to throw it in. And from each side. Mick Malone to get it, knocked off his stick by Colin Gordon, and the referee going over again, and awarding a free to court for 
penalising Colin Dorn for that pull around Mick Malone. We're in the dying moments of the game. Cork 26, Wexford 23. Two goals in 20 to, to Wexford's 4-11. Pat Moylan walking over now to take the three, which is just lining up over now. Now, if Ray can get his breath, we'll be hearing from the captain of the Cork team. All right, we the Corky. We were on our gumsa. Aquil, Fiora Zorin, Kornsha, Korn McCarry, Agdaka Harness, Corky. Ladies and gentlemen, I have very little to say except that we are very glad to be going back with this cup tonight. I'd like to thank everybody involved in this preparation of this team. I'd like to thank, in particular today, 